Are you trying to share your GarageBand projects on iPhone or iPad but running into problems with file formats and compatibility issues? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to share, backup, and copy those GarageBand projects. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, if you are creating music using GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, you may have come across problems like this where you're trying to share or copy or backup or collaborate on a GarageBand.com band project file, but it's not compatible. It won't copy. You'll get errors. You'll get compatibility issues. Now that's caused by the fact that these are an Apple file format. So they'll work on your iPhone or your iPad, but they won't work on things like Google Drive, on Dropbox, on OneDrive and the other file sharing platforms. But if you do want to easily copy, backup, share and collaborate on your projects, in this video, I've got a solution for you. Let's jump in now. So this process is super simple, but it does have a few steps. So follow along and you'll be able to get this done as well. The first thing we need to do is download an app called Documents. So we're going to come in here to the App Store and search for Documents. And one of the first results will be this one, Documents by Readle. We're going to download that one and then we'll tap here to open it. And this is what it will look like. So this is going to allow us to zip and unzip those .band project files to make them compatible with any file sharing platform that we choose. Now, in order to demonstrate this function, I'm I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I'm actually collaborating on a project right now with Jade Starr, who is an amazing musician, and we're working on a song, a cover version of the Ben Folds 5 song, Smoke. So here is a link that she has sent me. I've just emailed it to myself here just for demonstration purposes, and this is a OneDrive link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my email and tap on this link. Now, if you're sharing it via Dropbox or Google Drive or any other file sharing platform, the process is almost identical. What it's going to do is it will open up that app here on your iPhone or your iPad, and in the case of OneDrive, it then throws you out into Safari here, which is where it will actually ask me to access and download this file, which is what we're going to do right now. Now, depending on the file size, you may get a situation like this. We have a progress bar going across. That just means that it's probably a larger project file, and it's taking a while to download and prepare that ready for you. So just be patient, and in just a couple of minutes, usually, depending on your, your internet connection, you'll be able to actually download the zip file and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, success. Here is our zip file smoke demo rev 2.zip. It's a 91.6 megabyte file here. What we now want to do, now we can tap open in documents. And this is why you need to download the documents app first, because now it will associate any zip files with documents. And here we go. Zip was saved as smoke demo rev 2 in documents folder. That's exactly what we want. And there it is. There is our zip file ready to go. Now we need to extract this zip, get that dot band project out of there and bring it over to GarageBand. So let's get that done now. So from here, it actually becomes really simple. All we need to do is tap here on the Smoke Demo Rev 2 zip file. It extracts the .band file or the folder of files here. And now we can actually just send this straight over to GarageBand. So to do that, we tap on the ellipsis, which is these three dots in the bottom right corner of the .band file. And we get these options here. Now, the one we want to choose here is Share. So if we tap Share, it's going to pop up our regular share sheet here that we have in iOS. And what I like to do here is Save to files. So now it'll pop up and now I can put this there. You can see at the top there, it looks just like a regular GarageBand.band file. So I'm here, I'm going to put it on my iPad in my GarageBand folder and tap on add. There you go. That is done. Now let's jump over to GarageBand and take a look at this project. So I'm over in GarageBand. I'm going to tap on my GarageBand folder here, and there it is, Smoke Demo Rev 2. How cool is this? This is something that Jade worked on. She created the project. She zipped it up. She sent it off to OneDrive. She sent me the link to OneDrive. I've downloaded it. I've extracted it from the zip to a band, and here it is. And I did that at my end in just a couple of minutes. Super simple. So now all we need to do is tap on the project file. It will load this up. It will open up the project, and we'll be able to take a listen to this project file. This is exciting. Let's hit play and take a listen to what Jade has produced here. Hey. 
How cool is that? I am seriously looking forward to working on this collaboration and you'll be able to check out the progress right here on the channel. So stay tuned for more videos all about this collaboration. But for now, let's show you how I can actually do this process in reverse because what I wanna do is actually be able to make changes and then send this back to Jade so she can continue working. And this is also the process that you would follow if you just wanted to copy or back up your own GarageBand project. So to do that, you can see I've already got it saved here. What I would generally do is tap on this and rename it. So let's just call it revision three, just so that it's not gonna confuse it when we actually save these files out. Now, what we can do here is actually share this back over to documents. So to do that, we're gonna tap and hold on this and release and tap on share. And what we can do is share the project file and it'll bring up where we wanna share it to. I'm gonna tap save to files. Now the location that I use here for this is under on my iPad here. So we tap on my iPad under documents here. And this puts it in a particular folder in documents that I'll show you in a moment. It just makes it easier to organize in my view. So I'm gonna tap add. And there you go, it's copied over to documents. We'll go back to documents over here. And now in this iTunes files, this is where it saves it to. So this puts it in the iTunes file sharing folder, which is extra handy if you happen to be syncing with a Mac or a PC, it means it's available for there as well. But if we tap on that one, there it is. There's our .ban file. But before we send this to Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, anywhere else, we need to fix this problem, which is zipping this up because the .ban file, the folder structure there will not work if we back it up from here. To do this super simple process, we tap on the ellipsis, the three dots in the bottom right corner, and all we need to do is tap on the zip button. Documents does the rest. It takes all of those files and it zips them up into one single archive zip folder and it will look just like the zip file that Jade sent over to us in the first place. So we're nearly done now. It is almost finished and boom, there you go. There it is, Smoke Demo Rev 3, our zip file ready to go. Now we can do things from within documents here, but if you're more familiar in the regular files integration, so if we go back over here and let's just go to our regular files, what we can do is if we come into this same location, we come into on my iPad documents, and there we go, there is our smoke demo rev3, the .ban file, but more importantly, the .zip file as well. So if we wanted to say, share this over to Dropbox to just back up for ourselves or to then share a link to someone else, what I need to do is tap and hold on the zip file here, release, and then tap move. Now move becomes copy when you go to somewhere like a, a cloud storage. So if we just tapped on Dropbox here, then we can just say, put it in my GarageBand folder, tap on the copy button, and boom, that's on its way over to Dropbox. So if we tap here on Dropbox, it'll load that up. We'll come down to GarageBand and what we should see fingers crossed and drum roll here is that once it refreshes, there we go. There's my Smoke Demo Rev 3. It's uploading to Dropbox right now. As soon as that is finished uploading to Dropbox, all I need to do is get a link to that either from the Dropbox app or from here and then send that via email to whoever, back to Jade, back to whoever wants to collaborate on. So even if you're on different platforms like OneDrive and Google Drive and Dropbox and other places, you can still use this same process and it's a really cool way to do this. Now there is one other way to collaborate which I've shown before in a previous video, that'll be link linked up there. And what you can do with that one is actually both collaborate in the .band project at the same time. That has a heap of advantages, but if you're working on a very large project, it can create some conflicts and some other things as well. So keep that in mind, but if you're looking for another alternative option that's also really cool, check out that solution up there as well. There you go, I hope this helped you if you are trying to collaborate or share or copy your project files and stay tuned here because I'll be continuing to collaborate on this project and show you how we can do some more cool things here in GarageBand as Jade and I complete this project. Thanks again for watching. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping up there and I'll see you on the next video.